Yo, what is up YouTube Fury here, bringing us a brand new video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing my controller settings for Season 5. As you guys know, I usually do one of these videos at the beginning of each season, so I figured I might as well make one for Season 5 as well. So, before we get into today's video, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, don't forget to turn on those post notifications, and if you get first like on any of my videos, make sure you send me a Twitter image, I'll hit you guys back with that follow. And with that said, let's get right into today's video. If you guys are interested in winning some free V-Bucks, we are currently giving away 6,000 V-Bucks bucks to you guys all you got to do to enter is like the video subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications as well as follow the gleam link in the description down below there's going to be six winners a thousand v bucks each good luck to everyone now one more thing real quick i'd like to mention if you guys don't follow me on twitter at fury tv follow me over there i will be giving away some battle passes for you guys i know a lot of people do not have the battle pass as of yet and a lot of people do want the battle pass people come in the stream asking for battle passes and stuff like that i will be making a tweet later on making sure that obviously i'm going to be giving away some battle passes all you got to do is follow me on twitter at fury tv and retweet the tweet once i make that tweet for you guys that should be later today if not tomorrow something like that i will be putting up a tweet on twitter for you guys to give away some of these battle passes but with that said let's get right into the video so jumping right into the settings here as you guys know i do live on the east coast so obviously i will be playing on na east i know a lot of people ask me this on stream so na east is the servers that i play on and a lot of people seem like this is probably the easiest server to get into but again on stream i don't really you know it, it's nothing different than any other region i just happen to run into some uh you know just average players that i end up killing so here is the region i play on for all you guys asking what region i do play on now jumping straight into the input if you guys do play on console there's only two settings here that you guys need to take a look into obviously it's the wire controller settings but if you guys do play on pc then the mouse sensitivity may you know apply for you guys as well so when i do play on pc if i do i usually go with 15 for the x and 20 for the y if i I play on console which is basically 99% of the time I'll use 6 for the X and 7 for the Y so obviously my left to right is a little bit slower and up and down is just one notch higher than um, obviously my X sensitivity so I play on a 6 7 probably the better way to do it because obviously um, a lot of people do build up fairly quickly so I want my Y sensitivity to be a little bit quicker now real quick I do want to mention these are my personal settings I know a lot of people use their own personal settings you know other settings are a little bit better it depends on what you play on what you get used to but for me these are the best settings for myself and again a lot of people on stream do ask me what my settings are so here they are obviously I'll make this video for you guys that way if people ask me on stream they can go ahead and watch this video for all my settings now again for PC settings the mouse ADS and the mouse scope are one and one don't really change those up those were the default that when I first played uh, on PC that's what it was so I kept that on the um, settings there and then for the wireless controller ads and the scope for controller that is on 0.65 that was also default i believe for everybody so i just kept that on because um i didn't really want to change that up that's something i got used to jumping into the camera and display my streamer mode i have that off i really don't care for streamer mode if people want to stream snipe me on stream then they can go ahead and go for it i don't really care too much and then the uh, scale of the hud is one i know some people do make this a little bit smaller say if your weapon you know hud at the bottom is too big for you you can go ahead turn this down for you guys i personally like the bigger size to it so i just keep that at a full one now jumping into the control options this is something i don't show on stream too much really on stream i only show my sensitivity and stuff like that so if you guys do care about the controller options here there are a bunch of here that i have on and off so sprint cancels reload i have that off i obviously want to keep reloading um tap to search i have that off i really like just to hold the square say if i'm searching a chest or something like that i just have that off just because i'd rather hold it than just tap it something i got used to toggle uh targeting i have that as off aim assist obviously you want that on edit mode aim assist on not completely sure what that's completely for um i'm assuming this one's like or, or it says right here and building edit mode attracts your wireless controller aim towards the closest square so okay so that really um something i got used to so i just have that on i kept that on didn't really change that up uh reset building choice i have that on this isn't really you know it doesn't really take effect for anyone using builder pro because you can just switch through you know you can switch through builds whenever you want really now turbo building obviously we have that on auto material change of course we have that on as well well auto run i have that off auto open doors i have that off and auto pick up weapons i have that off as well so the auto open door is a little bit frustrating if you're not used to it you'll try to go ahead and open it so it'll automatically open um, when you get near it and then you actually close it because you think it's not on so this one gets a little bit frustrating if you don't have that off or you're not used to it so i personally have that off i'm going to keep that off controller auto run i have that off as well sometimes it does come a little bit useful but i feel like i'll get into a fight or something like that and i'll forget that it's on i know 
that they and you know they implemented a little icon if you do have it on and it's you know it's auto running but for me it's not something that i like to get used to so i have that off as well and then auto pickup weapons gets a little bit annoying when you're trying to target a weapon that you do want to pick up and instead you pick up all the weapons around yourself so that is something i have off as well and the last few settings here vibration is off i'm not completely sure i'd rather have that on to be quite honest so i'm going to turn that on i'm always somebody that ref you know i like the feedback there so i turn on vibration especially in call of duty and stuff like that a lot of people say the vibration messes up your accuracy and stuff but me i like the vibration so i'm gonna keep that on all right i'm gonna turn that on now because apparently it was off uh record replays of course you want that on reward uh record large team gameplays i have that off that may be a little bit buggy in game so i don't want to have that on i'm in a game and I just get cried the game crashes or something like that so I have that off so those are the game settings for you guys that do want those uh, you know going over to the brightness I really haven't changed that it's a d at the default 50 um, sound I have music all the way off because that gets a little bit loud and annoying uh, sound effects at 50 that's because I have an astro mix amp I can just turn that up if I want to um, from there so I just have that as 50 voice chat one which I should probably turn down but again I have a mix amp to turn all that down cinematics uh, 50 and sub uh, subtitles off and voice chat on so if you guys do want uh, voice chat off say if somebody joins your sessions a lot and they have their mic and stuff you can just go ahead and turn that off that way you don't have to hear them or anything now jumping over to the accessibility I do have colorblind mode off a lot of people think I have it on because of my colors that are in game but again I do have my saturation up so the colors look a little bit brighter a little bit more vibrant a little bit more pleasing to look into but if you, you are colorblind I definitely recommend turning this on it does help you guys out I'm pretty sure um, obviously I, I can't really test that myself because I'm not colorblind or anything like that so I can't really tell the difference um, let me see if I turn that yeah see I don't know if it changes anything if I have that on or off yeah i don't know i don't think anything changed really with that so i'm not completely sure if you guys are colorblind you can go ahead and turn that on i know in call of duty it does help but again in fortnite not completely sure and last but not least the wireless controller settings we have the configuration set to builder pro if you guys don't use builder pro on console you guys are definitely messing up um you definitely want to do this this is probably the biggest thing in the game obviously building is probably the most um you know strategic thing to be able to do in fortnite and if you guys aren't using builder pro you're at a huge disadvantage I'm Obviously, anybody using anything else, say old school Quick Builder, I'm not completely sure what Quick Builder is, but that's definitely not build, better than Builder Pro, Combat Pro, and Builder Pro. So, obviously, all these other ones, you're not going to be able to compete with anybody that uses Builder Pro. So, I highly recommend using Builder Pro. Um, if you get really good at it, you can beat anybody that's really good at any other um, configuration. So, I highly recommend Builder Pro. It's season five, it's you know the beginning of it. So, it might be a little bit annoying because everybody's on the game, but at the same time, if you think about it, there are more players that aren't really familiar with the game in now than there was at the end of season four because obviously there wasn't much hype around the end of season four i know a lot of people did want to know what season five had to bring so they jumped into the game a little bit later on there in season four but again at the beginning of season five this game is super hyped as of right now you're going to run into a lot of players that don't know how to build so i highly recommend switching to builder pro that way you can get used to it now before all the um you know all the other players start to uh, see say wind down or uh start getting better at building so I highly recommend using Builder Pro. Again, Playground will be returning as a permanent game mode. So you guys can jump into that when that comes back and practice your Builder Pro then as well. But these are all my settings in Season 5. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys, you know, use have other settings that I should try out. Um, better sensitivity or anything like that. Now, obviously, a higher sensitivity will benefit you, obviously, in building and stuff like that. But I do want to make sure that my accuracy is still up, um, you know, while using a decent sensitivity. Again, 6.7 isn't the highest sensitivity i know a lot of players that use 9 9 10 10 stuff like that and obviously their building's a lot faster than mine but again you do take a hit on accuracy wise when you do bump up the sensitivity so you do want to keep that in mind but a higher sensitivity will help you in building but that'll do it for today's video guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of season five as of right now the game has been out for roughly a day and a bit now so obviously season five has been going really well for myself currently we're level 26 so not bad we got the upgraded here for ragnarok just one level up upgraded nothing too crazy we got some hair and a beard on them and stuff like that but let me know what you guys think for season five if you guys have some other settings that i should try out those are my settings a lot of people ask me them on stream so i figured i'd show you guys in this as well as that you know at the beginning of every season i do make a video like this so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new don't forget to turn on those post notifications again join the notification squad that way you get notified every time i go live or post a new video and like i said i'll see you guys in the next video peace